Hi, this is a quick little five minute demo on how to upload your data list into our system and then map it correctly. I'm just going to click on the Manage tab, then I click on My Contacts, and now I have my contact section where I can add a new list. Here I can upload my list. And it asks me to give it a name, and I'll call it Absentee Owner List. 01. I will browse for it on my computer by clicking on browse. I go over here and here's my list and I click open and then I click upload. It tells me that there's been 1,206 records that have been accepted and then if I have any questions I can click help but what it's saying is to use the fields below to map the information in my mailing list. This right now is all it's going to do is ask me to map the mailing list, uh, the mailing label variables. This data goes in the mailing block of my piece. This is the owner's address. This is where we are mailing the piece. And it's pretty simple if you just go slow. It says recipient line one, what's the first name or full name? And from this drop down menu, it'll show me all the titles in the Excel document or CSV file that I just had open a minute ago in my earlier demo. But I'm looking for first name. There it is. And now it's asking me for the last name. And it might say owner last name or my last name or something. Um, but I'm just looking for last name. And then it says recipient line 2 if applicable. There isn't one. Street address. So I click on street address and here's owner address. Now it says street address 2, like unit number um, or apartment number or suite. So I have, sometimes you won't have one, sometimes you do. Here's an owner address, line 2. Then I have owner, city, owner, state. And it's asking me for the zip code. This would be the owner zip code. And on the right-hand side, it reiterates what I've just listed. First name, last name, the owner's address, the owner's address line 2, the owner's city. Um, and what you can do is right here it'll show you, this is showing you um, all the records in the file that I just uploaded. And if I click this arrow, it'll show me the very first record in my data file. And I can see that it's Catherine Sheehan, 71 Marsdale Street, Albany, New York, 12208. I can look at the second one and it'll show me that it's this person and the third one and I can just keep going through this. Now I'm on number six out of 1200 if you want to. <laughs> um, but essentially you just make sure a couple are right. Sometimes you can open up your data file to confirm that it's correct and if that looks right then you just scroll down to the bottom. There's other things you can import like a phone number or email but there's really no reason for that. So you just go to the very bottom and then it's going to do a DPV check as it uploads automatically. So I click continue and now if I scroll up a little bit it'll show me that in my data or my library I have absentee owner number one. This is the list. This is the list that's in here in my library. You can see that there's passed and failed. And so now we'll wait about 10 minutes um, and then I can see whether some um, have failed or otherwise because we're doing a real-time data check with the USPS to confirm that they're actually good addresses. Okay, so here I waited for maybe five or ten minutes. Um, you don't have to stay on this page. You can come back to it at any time um, and it's doing its thing. But you'll notice here I have a passed and a failed. Um, now I have 37 that failed. All I do is click on edit and it'll show me the ones that failed. And it could fail on all kinds of things like for example the space between the pound and this number, um, maybe that's not the way it's written at the USPS database and so it will fail. Um, here it is again and what I do is I scroll down here and I look for anything that's blatantly obvious or you know completely wrong. It looks like they're all okay and the chances are you bought this from a database 
um, supplying company. So they're all going to be clean anyway. So you can have the confidence to know that they're all going to arrive where they should go. So simply click on select all addresses right here to highlight them all and then click on force to mail selected addresses. And what that does, well it's going to ask me, uh, do I want to force them? You hit OK. And what that does, it takes all those that failed and if I go back to this little button here that says list and remember I had 37 that failed? Well, I took those and put them into my fast account, my past account. Okay, so now I have a new list called Absentee Owner List 01, right? And I have 1,204 in my um, record base. And that's it. So this is my library. If you wanted to learn more about what NCOA means or mail delivery times or what can make things more deliverable, you can look around here. Um, but generally speaking, when you buy a database um, from some other list source or list ability or list company, um, it's going to be clean. So upload it, wait five or ten minutes, look for the ones that failed, and then push them through like I just said. That's it for managing your data.